the big question for today is does the quality of your bow really make that big of a difference in terms of your accuracy as an archer? Or, in other words, will switching or upgrading from a basic entry-level, pretty inexpensive bow package to uh, something much more higher end with all the bells and whistles make you a better archer overnight? And to be honest, this is my first chance that I've had to put uh, these two bows side by side. Uh, this is the first bow I ever purchased. It's a Bear Attitude. I know, it's a really cool name. Uh, Bear actually makes a fine product. I'm not trying to put anyone down, but uh, this is just their entry-level model from several years ago. Uh, I picked it up really cheap because it was cheap and I needed the bow. Uh, the biggest issue I've had is it maxes out at 60 pounds draw weight, which uh, honestly I bought because this was when I was 40 pounds lighter and could not draw a 70 pound bow, so I figured I would take the price savings and get a really light bow. Um, other than that, it just doesn't have anything really special. It's a, a four-pin sight. The pins are pretty large. It just has a whisker biscuit. Um, I upgraded the stabilizer at some point. And really, that's all I've done other than have it restrung when it needed it. Uh, I've been shooting the Cabela's brand Carbon Arrows out of it, which, uh, again, lower end, bottom because they're cheap. Um, and the only plus side of that is when you lose or break one, it doesn't sting as bad. Now this past year, I was finally able to upgrade uh, and picked up an Obsession Evolution. So uh, they don't make them anymore, but this was one of their higher end bows in 2014 and 15. Uh, I picked it up gently used, had it restrung and tuned, uh, and I've been shooting it all season and loving it. Uh, this, contrary to this, has all the bells and whistles. It's got a really nice Excel sight on it with super uh, small pins. It's a five pin instead of a four. Uh, it has a drop-away rest, a gigantic stabilizer sticking off the front, uh, and shooting out of it, I upgraded to the Easton Full Metal Jackets, uh, which have been super straight and pretty strong. I've broken a couple, um, but been loving it. What I haven't done yet is dig the old bow back out and shoot a couple groups out of each bow to determine if it actually makes a difference or if I just feel like it makes a difference. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to throw three arrows out of each of these at, say, 30 yards and 50 yards because, to be honest, uh, this thing doesn't shoot further than 50 yards, and uh, just measure the groups, see if there's an inherent accuracy difference from a cheap basement bargain price bow to a much more higher end bow. Here we go. Well, at 30 yards, the Obsession is winning, which is good to see. Uh, I couldn't get the caliper to actually extend to accurately measure the group with the bear, uh, but I'm guessing it's three and a quarter, three and a half inches for the three arrow group, uh, and it was two and a quarter with the Obsession. So we're at least an inch tighter at 30 yards. I'm gonna step back to 50 just to see what happens, and uh, then we'll make some conclusions. Alright guys, here's the reality. Uh, this will sound like I'm making excuses or trying to justify, but it's just the simple truth. Uh, this flyer up here uh, is this arrow in particular. Uh, arrow number one, I mark them for this very reason. Uh, I sent it over the target uh, sometime the last time I was practicing. Uh, it buried into the ground and hit a rock just below it, and so it kind of mushroomed out the end of it a little bit. Uh, not so much that I felt like it was unsafe, hasn't blown up and shattered through my hand yet, uh, but it always misses high. Uh, I've sent it over the target a couple of times since then. Uh, when I'm aiming low, it just, it flies high. 
Uh, so it's something with this arrow that's affecting the group. Um, and the problem is these are my last three uh, FMJs. I don't have a backup to bring into this experiment. So I know this isn't officially how a three shot group works, but I'm gonna measure the distance between these two very consistent, very close arrows, uh, because this one is just a flaw in this arrow. It's time for it to be retired and time for me to go buy another box of arrows. Um, but for the sake of today's experiment, I'm just gonna have to measure this and then shoot the bear and, uh, and compare them. This might actually work out where it's a more apples to apples comparison because uh, my third arrow missed the block entirely. I thought about redoing it, pulling a different group, but actually this two arrow gap will match up better with the Obsessions two arrow gap because of that one arrow that I jacked up. Uh, the other problem, which is really a tuning issue that I was always chasing with that bow, uh, is that I was actually aiming here <laughs> and the arrows are... Uh, the further out I get at like 50 yards, they're coming up and to the left. Uh, and I can see as, as they impact, they're, they're fishtailing through the air a little bit. So I'm going to measure this. Obviously it's bigger, but uh, I'll compare objectively uh, how much closer that gap is, and we'll talk about it. So will a nice bow make you a better archer? Uh, yes. Yes, actually it will. Uh, not night and day, it's not like it just shrinks that group by, by feet, but it does shrink it down, and, uh, and archery is all about confidence. So uh, if you feel confident in your gear, and you're used to seeing tight little groups in your block at the range, that's going to translate when you're out in the field and you finally get a shot on an animal. That being said, you can absolutely go get it done with a cheap bottom of the line bow as long as it uh, is a legal draw weight and has at least enough speed uh, to get some penetration into an animal. Use it, shoot it, have a great time. Despite our calls, he walked slowly back into the timber and bedded down about 90 yards from us. The wind was strong and in our favor, so I decided to roll the dice and try to crawl in on it. Hit him high. I just believe. Oh, holy crap. Um, I hit him a little high. Brother! <laughs> <laughs> But if you're on the fence between if it's worth upgrading and you have the money and you're not gonna like miss rent or your kids aren't gonna eat, then by all means, uh, buy yourself a nice bow. Also, subjectively, uh, aside from the groups and aside from all of that stuff, uh, the nice bow just feels so much better. Uh, having not shot that bear for at least a year, I'm amazed now at how much vibration there is and how it, it just kind of like rattles when the, the arrow comes out of it, even with such a light draw weight. 
uh, but the Obsession just feels rock solid in my hand. That arrow goes off and, and there's just nothing, nothing's shaking, nothing's vibrating, uh, just stays there. It's terrific. So if this helped you out at all, if you were able to maybe justify an expense to your significant other, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe below, share it with somebody else, ask them to subscribe. Uh, it really just helps me a whole lot. So that being said, get out there, shoot straight, and good luck.